Have you ever noticed that in English we don't always use the same words to mean the same number? Take the number five for example. A five-sided polygon is a pentagon. A pentathlon is an athletic competition with five events, and Shakespeare wrote an iambic pentameter, poetry with five lines. But we don't call a group of five musicians a pentatet, and five siblings born at the same time aren't pentoplets. Instead, we use the prefix quint. The terms are quintuplets and quintet. The differences in the prefixes are because English borrows words from multiple languages. Penta comes from Greek and quint comes from Latin. Here's a quick guide to the Latin and Greek prefixes. Three of the numbers actually have the same prefix in both languages. Wouldn't it be super helpful if there were rigid rules about which prefixes we use for certain types of things? Unfortunately, there aren't, but there are some patterns. When we're talking about how many sides something has, we usually use the word lateral, which comes from Latin. So it makes sense that we'd use Latin prefixes. Unilateral, bilateral, trilateral, quadrilateral. Polygon is a Greek word for many angles. It's why we use Greek prefixes with gon. Pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, octagon, decagon. But you don't often come across the word tetragon for a shape with four angles. For some reason, the Latin quadrilateral is the common term. There are math terms, science terms, and even everyday words that use these prefixes. There are tons of them. So being familiar with the prefixes and Greek and Latin root words in general can help you figure out new words, like triskaidekaphobia. And if you should be concerned about it,